Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. Um, so this is another icon theme video, and uh, in this video we're going to be focusing on how to install the new Wadia icon theme. So if you don't know what this icon theme looks like, it, uh, it's kind of a mixture between the GNOME stock, you know, it uses the same folder colors, I think we got the folders down here. It uses the same folder colors, I guess we don't have folders, uh, as GNOME, but it adds in a modern, you know, flat uh, material design. So to start the installation, you need to install the git package. Now, it doesn't matter what distribution you use, it's all the same package name. So just do sudo and then find the Linux distribution that you use here and install it that way. For me, for Fedora, it would be sudo dnf install git, enter my password, and uh, it will go through and install what we need to install. Now, if I don't I don't need to go through the installation for this already because I already have uh, git installed as it says here. Once we do that, we can go down to the instructions and we need to clone the icon theme. So I already have it cloned, so I'm gonna remove the folder and try again. So it'll download all the files. Um, may take a little bit, as you can see, it's kind of slowing down here. That's normal, it's a, a lot of stuff. It's a lot of, a lot of stuff. So from here we can get to how you can install the icons. You can do single user, and now that's for just your user, or you can do system wide, which is for everybody on the system. So we're gonna do system wide because that's usually how I do things once we get the download done. All right, so our files are done downloading, so we can run the ls command and we can see the new Wadia icons are here. So we can do cd new Wadia run the ls command again, we see there are two different icon themes, we got the dark and the regular. So let's move both of them into the installation folder, the icon folder. sudo mv new audio. and uh, if you want to be quick, you can just add a asterisk there and that will move both folders, or you can specify them both. The instructions from, you know, they're right here, and uh, I have it specified for both, but if you want to do a quick, that's a little trick you can do, you can do user share icons and then uh, wait for it it's going to move all the files run the ls just to make sure and they're no longer there we can then open up our appearance settings uh, i'm using xfce so it's going to be a little different on mine if you're using a different distribution and a different uh, desktop environment, but uh, you know, just go to your appearance settings and if you need more help, the instructions on how to enable it for virtually every desktop are right there. But uh, you can go through and find your icon and we need it. It's right in here somewhere. Icons. I was looking at the wrong one. So here's new audio. So we've got it and uh, my panel is using the new icons. So we open up the file manager. We see we've got the familiar gnome-ish folders. I really like it. I think it's a nice design. Uh, definitely a change of pace for certain things. Now, if you use this, not every icon is going to be the same. Some won't be used. It's just because it's a new icon theme. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the link in the description for more information, and I will see you again next time.